Muay Thai or Thai boxing is Thailand's national sport and goes all the way back to the 13th century when Thailand was under the Sukhothai Kingdom. It was originally used for military training and battles. It is now a popular martial art, not only in Thailand, but across the world. However, the question is whether Muay Thai can be used effectively in street fighting, which is what we're going to find out in today's video. Before we begin though, make sure to subscribe to Trend Loops and hit the bell icon for notifications. Now. Let's get to it. Muay Thai focuses on eight points of contact, giving it the name, the art of eight limbs. This is why the sport is different from other martial arts sports like boxing, which uses two points, and karate, which uses four points. Another unique aspect of Muay Thai is that it borrows elements from Muay Buran, another martial art from Thailand. Deviating away from traditional themes and principles, Muay Thai was influenced by new practices and became a sport in the early 20th century. Modern aspects aspects of the sport are attributed to British boxing, with its use of standardized rules and boxing rings. It was also during this time that the wrapping of rope around the hands was replaced with boxing gloves. The attire worn during fights is also something that sets it apart from other martial arts sports, highlighting the traditions and culture of Thailand. Fighters wear the traditional Mong Khan, which is a headband used for protection and good fortune during a fight. Armbands, called Prajayads, are also worn. Similar to the Mong Khan, they are also worn for good luck and come from the fabric torn off a mother's clothing. The Mong Khan is worn during the Weiku Ramoy before the start of a fight. Afterward, it is removed as a trainer prays over the fighter. This practice is also performed in international Muay Thai as Thai music called the Surama plays in the background. Now that we know about the traditional aspects of Muay Thai or Thai boxing, we can use what we have learned in the real world, outside the Muay Thai boxing ring. Street fight Fights are an entirely different battlefield. The rules and regulations of martial arts sports don't exist outside the ring. Also, the adrenaline and intensity of street fighting are different as they are mostly spontaneous. This begs the question, is Muay Thai effective in a street fight? Well, Muay Thai fighters believe it is. The sport uses a lot of deadly techniques that are frequently utilized in the ring. When used in the streets, it wouldn't be too difficult to do the same thing. One blow with the elbow towards the head or even the chin is enough to knock the opponent out. Even UFC fighters follow this principle of letting the opponent go to the ground immediately. The blows caused by Muay Thai are so lethal that the fight can literally be over in a matter of seconds. Adding to that, Muay Thai fighters follow the principle of using every part of the body as a weapon to stop the opponent. This is indeed true to its name, the art of eight limbs. Even with multiple attackers, using all limbs in a fight can easily knock them out. Because fighters are trained to have great stamina, they can keep throwing out blows and kicks until they win the fight. With a combination of techniques, winning a street fight becomes easy. Muay Thai fighters are also trained to endure high levels of pain. This mental ability helps them persevere and use all of their limbs in a fight. While Muay Thai techniques can lead to victories in street fights, it's also important to know the weaker aspects of the sport. When you get knocked out by an opponent, it's a lot more difficult to get back up and continue fighting. This means that if the other fighter is also a martial artist, they may try to knock you off the ground first. For example, if the opponent is using jiu-jitsu, they can easily put you on the floor since their sport also emphasizes this technique. Fighting against other ground fighters is more complicated because they also know how to do knockouts. This simply means that to win a street fight with Muay Thai, you must strive to knock the opponent to the ground before they can do the same thing to you. Muay Thai can certainly work wonders during a street fight. However, like many street fights, you should also know how to take the fight to the ground. When you go down first, you must make sure to get back up and use Muay Thai techniques in order to recover. Remember that a good offense starts with an even better defense. So, what are some Muay Thai techniques that you can use in a street fight? The main strength of Muay Thai is that it uses every part of the body to attack the opponent. When you throw in blows that are a combination of these body parts, a win is more likely to happen. This is why Muay Thai fighters have an advantage over kickboxers and other types of boxers. Boxing only uses punches.
punches, while kickboxing uses punches and kicks, whereas Muay Thai uses fists, elbows, knees, shins, and feet. Roundhouse kick. Let's start with the roundhouse kick, which is easily the most powerful move in Muay Thai. This kick is used in many martial arts, including karate and taekwondo. It involves the fighter pivoting their lead foot and thrusting the open hip right before hitting the lower shin. While doing this, the fighter swings the rear arm to gain more power in the kick. In a street fight, it's best to throw kicks below the waist because if you go above it, the opponent may catch your leg in the air and knock you down instead. Low kicks. The next kick to use in a street fight is the low kick. It has a similar function to a move in boxing, which is to defend yourself from an incoming attack. It can also be used to shock the opponent, causing them to adjust their stance and lower their guard. You may also use the low kick to attack the lead leg of the other fighter. Horizontal elbow. In a street fight, horizontal elbows are another way to strike an opponent. The move is also used in MMA matches and requires efficient body balance and timing. The goal is to throw the elbow to the opponent's temple or chin. It is a lot easier to do compared with the other techniques and the damage can really affect the opponent's stance and guard. Switch kick. A unique technique in Muay Thai is the switch kick. It's useful in close range fights like those in street fighting. It involves switching your feet and allowing your rear leg to kick the opponent. This switch is like an unpredictable whip used to attack and requires power and speed for proper execution. If you feel that using the roundhouse kick is too risky, the switch kick can be a great alternative. Striking from the clinch. In street fights, striking from the clinch is an effective way to surprise the opponent. It's one of the special techniques used in Muay Thai. The move involves grappling on the feet and aiming to be the dominant fighter with the greatest advantage. You will have to hold the back of the opponent while leveraging your arms. When this position is reached, you can proceed to throw other strikes such as the straight knee. Muay Thai and street fighting can definitely be effective and help you win a spontaneous fight in the streets. It makes use of the whole body involving punches, kicks, strikes, and different combinations of these in a fight. Influenced by both tradition and modern practices, Muay Thai is a martial arts sport that uses simple but effective blows to knock an opponent down. Like any fighting sport, it has its weaknesses, one of which is ground fighting. As a general principle, counterattacks are needed to keep the fight going. Also, the best goal to have is to knock down an opponent first, giving them no chance to gain an advantage. So, that's it for today's episode. Do you think Muay Thai can be used for street fighting? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this episode, leave a like and share it with your friends and family. You may also want to check out our other videos. Stay tuned for more and thanks for watching!